Exciting day. Let's test out this new VRAN W101 watch. Forget all the numbers, all that kind of stuff. This thing looks wicked. So let's take it out. I do need to tell you this was supplied to me to do this review, but with no instructions, they were like, we think our watch is cool. Here, you go play with it, let the people know. So first we're gonna show it to you, then I'm gonna go play with it, and then I will let you know. Okay, couple super, super duper cool things right out of the box. This is a very, very competent smartwatch. It's got everything from O2 sensors, it keeps track of your blood pressure, obviously. It automatically knows most reasonable sports, it keeps track of your daily activity, your sleep, all those things. But here's the key super cool part. This watch has a 1.43 inch amyloid display, which should look crazy cool. Look how cool the watch is by itself. It comes with two different bands. You got an orange band, which I'm pretty sure I'll be going with. And then you also have a black band. So you can really define your style by however you want. The, the overall, this watch looks so cool. I am so excited about this. Let me charge it up. I'll come back, I'll let you know how well it monitored those sports, all those kind of things. I'll let you know how well it synced up for calls, that kind of stuff, what kind of cool faces I could put on it, and the basic things. Did it work to count the steps? How good was the O2 sensor? All those kind of things. All right, I'll see you in about a week. Okay, in the kitchen might be an unusual place to wrap up a sport watch conversation, but I've been wearing this for a couple days. I just cooked up some chili, you saw that. Um, and why not sit here and talk to you about it? So let me tell you, this watch is a couple things. Super duper comfortable. I really, really have enjoyed it a lot. Look, I got a message, I believe. My beautiful Miss Nikki wants to be picked up somewhere, but I'm gonna ignore this message. I also, speaking of messages, I have the water reminder set up on it, which is super great. I really enjoy that. Everything worked as expected, right? The pedometer measuring how many steps you take. I would did a little bit of walking, a little cycling. Everything adjusted really well there. The oxygen level worked well. There's only one thing left that I have to test, which I really don't believe will work well, but let's try it. My blood pressure. So it's testing my blood pressure, which is a little interesting. I have high blood pressure. Not terrible, I'm under control, but I particularly know what my blood pressure is. I have a real blood pressure machine to check my blood pressure, and I don't believe a watch can accurately measure your blood pressure. So um, it is checking it right now. I am sure I am not supposed to be talking and moving around, flailing around like this while it goes on, so we will give it a little extra leeway for that. Okay, I kind of absolutely lied or didn't know what I was talking about in the sense that this just came up with almost exactly what my blood pressure is all the time. 141 over 92. I'm telling you nine out of 10 times I check my blood pressure, really check it. It is right in that range. I don't know how that works. I genuinely don't know. This is news to me, but I can confirm that that actually works. I have an unusual blood pressure, so it's not even like a guest at a normal blood pressure and got it right. So yeah, I really think I have no problems with this thing at all. I'll give it a full five out of five on the Doug score. Maybe a six out of five just because it's so cool looking. Look, you can even see my blood pressure. Anyway, anyway, I hope that was helpful. We'll see you next time.